Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> Today we have a uh, beer from Mill Street uh, Brewery in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. They started off as a microbrew. I don't know if they'd be called, considered a microbrew anymore, but uh, they still make uh, good beer. This one is called 1 in 12. Uh, it is a New England IPA. 7% uh, so it's on the stronger side. And uh, it says on the can that uh, uh, 1 in 12 brewers are women and they're trying to raise awareness to get uh, more women into the field. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, that said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Oh, they all sound so good, don't they? Here we go. All right, one and 12. Yeah, it's definitely got that uh, IPA uh, bite to it. Not uh, not too bad for 7% actually. And <clears throat> probably reminds me of a story I heard one time. Actually, you know what? I think we could do a couple of uh, number jokes. Everybody likes uh, everybody likes a few one-liners, like like why is six afraid of seven? Uh, I know what you're thinking, seven, eight, nine, but that's probably not the case. Uh, seven was prime, and it was time to even the odds. Um, or uh, something like, what's the square root of sixty-nine? It's eight something, you know. So I. Math jokes are uh, always fun. And uh, now to the story. This uh, guy comes into a bar one day and he's got a bag. And uh, he comes right up to the bar and the bartender says, Hey, what, what's in the bag there? He goes, Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. He says, I got, I got this uh, little fella and a, and a piano, miniature piano. The bartender's like, Wow, I haven't seen that, anything like that before. He says, can, can this... Can this little guy play the piano, or what's the deal? Says, oh yeah, he, he can play anything you want. Bernard says, well, let's see this thing. So the guy reaches in the bag and he pulls out this little piano and a little bench and a little man. He sets him down. And uh, Bernard says, well, what can he play? And uh, he said, well, for a beer, I'll get him to play anything you want. So the bartender says, you're on. So. The uh, bartender pours the guy a beer, and the beer says, Hey, uh, play Great Balls of Fire. And the little guy, he just goes crazy. He's playing uh, Great Balls of Fire, and everyone's all gathering around. This is great. So uh, they just keep making requests, and the guy keeps playing away, and everything's good. And the bartender, uh, a little later on, he says to the guy, He said, Where did you get that thing? Like, that's amazing. Like, And uh, the guy says, Oh, I was cleaning up my uh, uncle's attic, you know, he passed away, and I, I stumbled upon this genie lamp, and, you know, that's, that's how I got this thing. It's like, oh, well, what, what, uh, like, wh where'd the genie lamp go now? He goes, oh, actually, I have it in this bag. He says, you know, only, uh, the genie comes out, he says, you only get one wish, and, and uh, when you're done, you just pass it on to a deserving person. So, uh, He's like, well, you gave me a free beer. He said, here, uh, how about this, uh, you know, I'll give you the genie lamp. The bartender says, well, that's worth another beer. So he gives him another beer and he grabs the lamp and he runs in the back. It's like five minutes later, there is ducks coming out of the back room everywhere. There is, like, the bar is full of ducks. And the bartender comes running back out and he says, man, what, what is going on with this genie lamp? Like, I wished for a million bucks, and I got a million ducks. Like, what am I gonna do with a million ducks? And the guy says, you think I asked for a 12-inch pianist? Beer and a joke.